Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. We are uh, popping open the Pro Wrestling Crate box. I'm doing this, uh, I guess, late um, Sunday night. Uh, the box came in, I believe, maybe Friday. It might have came in yesterday. But um, it's been sitting here because we've been out on the town doing some things. Today was a day full of softball. I busted up my thumb today. It's pretty freaking... Disgusting. I got caught in a gate trying to open it up this morning. Um, the Niners are uh, just starting the game off at 0 0. Uh, they're fixing to pump the ball off. Jimmy G wasn't able to convert uh, the first time with the ball, but I'm pumped on this one. Um, my AEW Elite Crate uh, ran out, and I was not able to resubscribe um, before I got locked out. So I am looking for a, a, a dead subscriber to be able to jump back in there. I was really pumped. After the uh, AEW Dark um, Volume 2 uh, DVD um, in the last box. But I just was not able to get the, uh, the, uh, the description back up after uh, my one ran out. So uh, I'll get back in there as soon as I can. So let's bust this open. This is the September box. Even though September is uh, coming um, to a close... I think those AEW Dark DVDs are some of the best things that I've got out of these boxes in a while, honestly, to tell you the truth. And be able to have a DVD that is going to be rare out there that um, people are going to be looking for, it, it's pumped that, that collection. Um, right here, we've got the, um, the other side of this card. Um, contains the contents of the crate. Next month is going to figure, uh, feature Sting, Macho Man Randy Savage, Danhausen, Insane Clown Posse, Abandon, Lynn Dorado, and Nick Foley. Honestly, last, next month sounds like it's going to be a pretty damn good box. I would say that uh, more than likely, Macho Man is not going to be the... Um, uh, micro brawler because they've already made 7,000 of him if you go back and remember all those different color ones uh, Danhausen has two I believe already so uh, I wonder um, where that leaves to be maybe it'll be sting maybe a little surfer sting action um, would be something to go with I don't think they've come up with that uh, pro wrestling tees going live on whatnot now um, maybe they're selling off oh it says right here AEW, a uh, autographed memorabilia and figures, limited edition overstock micro brawlers, exclusive one-off colorway shirts, um, exclusive mystery merchandise uh, bundles from PW uh, Pro Wrestling Tees and AEW, ring-worn gear from pro wrestlers, limited run apparel and merchandise, original one-of-one one art and paintings, AEW event exclusive items, Rare autographed 8x10s and discounted rare factory defunct items. So give that a look. It uh, looks like Kenny Omega is going to be the first shirt uh, right out of the gate. We have Kenny Omega right there. I guess this is supposed to be a video game guy. He looks pretty damn cool. Just, you know, blue jeans, wrestling boots, no shirt. Looking at it like he's coming to get you, like he's the cleaner back in the day. Pretty cool one right off the bat. Um, we have the Britsburg sticker right there. Coming off the penguins. I don't know who this is going to... Is this Candace? I, I, by looking at the, uh, the letters there, it looks like it's going to be Candace Michelle. She's out there on the uh, as a free market. You would think that, honestly, unless she's just going to feature... Uh, figure it be a full-time mom. She's going back to WWE now. But uh, you never know. Um, there you are. Candice LeRae. little cupcake action with some Japanese writing down there on the bottom. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Remember what I said about the um, uh, Macho Man uh, Build Brawler next... Or Micro Brawler next month? I didn't think that Ric Flair was going to be the Micro Brawler because they've already come up with so many as well. But we have the 1992 Royal Rumble winner. Ric Flair, um, right there. I would love to see what the, um, uh, what was I saying in there? What the chase is going to be of this, honestly. We have a Greg the Hammer Valentine bottle opener right there. And as I was talking about 
DVDs. I remember there was a PWG one that came with a Blu-ray a while ago. And I don't think that this is going to be... That's enough! Got it? Um, I don't think... I think this is just going to be a random throw-in because this is volume two of ROH 2019. Um, I don't think that this is like a, a continuation because I've, I've never missed a Pro Wrestling Tees box in years. And I don't think that they gave us uh, Volume 1 at any time. So that'll probably be on the card in there. Uh, we have a Johnny Gargano pin right there. That leads us all the way down to the autograph at the bottom. Come on, baby. We have a little belly button action going on right there. Oh, I thought we got Tyler Breeze autograph before. I know there's been a Tyler Breeze item in here before, but there we have Tyler Breeze autograph. I really got to get my 8x10s in shape. I think I got to get like some of those uh, sleeves and a binder and uh, get something like that going because over the years, I mean, from going to WrestleCons and especially the TNA Bound for Glory thing way back in the day, that was... Is that 10 years ago almost? It might be 10 years now that I think about it. It's forever ago. Those things are just chilling somewhere in a box, I think. ROH, Volume 2 of 2019. Greg the Hammer Valentine, bottle opener. I don't know how I'm going to use that, but that's a pretty freaking cool item to have. Uh, the Ric Flair, Micro Brawler from 1992. Probably one of the best items in the box. Um, the Johnny Gargano pin. Uh, we've got a Candace shirt. And then follow that with the uh, Britt Baker sticker. And the Kenny Omega t-shirt. So right there, let's just check the checklist one more time. Make sure that we got everything out of there. We got the AIM. Kenny Omega t-shirt, the Cupcake Candice LeRae t-shirt, Ric Flair Micro Brawler, Ring of Honor Grab Bag DVD. So it is random, this is what you get. Um, Tyler Breeze, 8x10, Johnny Gargano, Label Pen, Greg the Hammer Valentine, Bottle Opener, Britt Baker, ba Britt Baker Sticker. Honestly, damn good box right there. They knocked September out of the box, or, I mean, out, out of the park, I guess you could say. Um, I wish that they would go back to having themes. I know that you can't have a theme every month, but uh, I'm sure if they put pen to paper, October's going to be coming. they got to be doing something for Halloween, I would guess. Actually, the next box would be Halloween. So I wonder if we could pull that back out. Hold on. Next month's going to be October. So Sting, obviously, with the face paint. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, you put him in the black and white NWO. Um, Dan Housen is, is sure Halloween. St. Clown Posse, uh, paint a face as well. I think next week's gonna be, uh, next month's gonna be a pretty damn good Halloween box. It doesn't say that's the theme of the box, but if you, if you check that out, it looks like that's what they're aiming for. So, we'll see what comes up next month. Peace out, guys.